2014 was a breakthrough year for the Colombian connection. Robert Farah and Juan Sebastian Cabal won their first ATP World Tour titles as a team in Rio and Winston-Salem. Combined with four other final appearances, including the Sony Open in Miami, the South Americans only just missed out on a place at the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. They are very hungry to play, they have nothing to lose, they are you know, rising up. I think they have the, their chance to, to stay there, the probably top, uh, uh, top 10 uh, teams in the world and those guys have very, very good energy on the court. These guys uh, can both play. Faraz, he was a great college player, um, he's used to winning. Um, and then Cabal has made the finals of the French Open. He beat us in the semis of the French. Uh, very familiar with him. They really hit it off. I mean, uh, last year was two, two finals, the Rio and then uh, unlucky in Sao Paulo. Could have been back-to-back -back finals. You'd take uh, Brisbane, which they, they played really well, I thought. Uh, great match and they, another match they should have won. And uh, yeah, and then we got unlucky with Rob being injured after Halle for three months. And that kind of set down. But I mean, we really worked hard. Uh, I, I think they won their first tournament back after Rob was injured for three months in Winston Salem, but they were lucky they ended the year 11th and I think we, we, we had a lot to learn. 2015 has been earmarked as the year to take the next step. Much of this task falls to coach Jeff Kurtzer, a man with a vision for the Colombians. And he put his plan into place during pre-season. The first few weeks, you, you go really hard at it. Uh, we, we practice two hours tennis, and then in the morning, hour and a half in the afternoon, and you will do two sessions of fitness too. You will do one in the morning, could take an hour, and one in the afternoon, like, like it's lift session or weights, and that will take a little bit longer. Throughout the course of the year, I took a bunch of notes. So every match, everything, I've put a whole page on, every, on each player. I want to get them to, to, to basically master the basics. And once you do that, you know, there's not a whole lot that, that can go wrong. I know the, the doubles or the courts has changed over the years, but for me, the basic is still, if you make a very good first solid volley, it sets up kind of your second volley. So, you know, it took some time, but I mean, they understand. And now once they understand it, it's now, can we do it week in and week out? But I'm a type of guy, I'm almost like a perfectionist. I want to get disciplined, get it done with, and uh, be, try and get the best out of each one, you know? That, that's my job. We got our team, we got a fitness coach, we got our Jeff Coetz, our coach, and we start working a lot of fitness and a lot of tennis at the same time. Actually, they give us really hard from the beginning, both at fitness and in the, in the court. So I think we're really to play right now and feel ready. And now it's going to go into the court and enjoy it. Kurtz's strategy to improve the partnership will hinge on a change of philosophy. The South African believes his charges can be shaped into more of an all-round team. The Bryan brothers are the blueprint. Potentially they are clay court players and I'm trying to get them to play a little bit more aggressive tennis and uh, because I know they can stay back. Game. I want them to be sort of like, if you want to call it, hybrid players where you can play both back and forward if you have to so you can play on on the grass, you can play on, on hard court and you can play on the clay because if you want to do well and you want to stay in the top eight and be there all the time, you need to be consistent on all surfaces. The Colombian duo are not setting specific goals early in the season. They're focusing on incremental improvements, which they hope will bring success in the long term. We focus on our tennis and the things we, we worked on pre-season. I mean, I guess the, the result will come up. It'd be great to get to, to London. And, but we got to start week by week and see how it, see how it goes and, and take it from there. We are happy, we keep improving. We got our goals this year, so let's we'll try to make it and we hope we got more trophies this year. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, covering three continents, we're behind the scenes with all the action from Rotterdam, Memphis and Sao Paulo. At the rise and rise of Milos Raonic, we chat to the Canadian star about breaking into the elite. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.